Welcome everyone. Today we have Ankita Mishra, All India Rank 169 for UPSC CSE 2021 with us. Hello Ankita. Hello. Welcome to Enlight IAS. Thank you. And first of all, congratulations on your success. Thank you. Thank you. So let us begin this. Ankita, how was your UPSC journey? Okay. Uh, so my UPSC journey was a long one. It started in 2017. I quit my job and after that I decided to uh, prepare for civil services. So I got through prelims in most of my attempts but uh, mains was a big trouble for me. Like I didn't get through mains the first time by 20 marks then by 2 marks and uh, 2018 when I didn't get through mains by 2 marks was I think it was one of the lowest point in my journey. Like I rethought everything. It took me some time to get up to terms that I hadn't qualified and I had to appear again. And uh, then 2019, I got through mains. I appeared in interview, but I wasn't in the final list. Okay. Then uh, 2020 attempt, I could not give because uh, during prelims, I was hospitalized mm -hmm. and uh, after that, uh, I thought about my journey and uh, I found that after I saw my mark sheet, I thought that uh, my optional was something that was holding me back. I couldn't uh, uh, do very well in it. So I decided to change it and I took philosophy as my optional. I started preparing in 2020 itself and appeared in 2021 uh, PSE attempt and finally in that very attempt, I got 169 rank. So like. I've, I think I've failed at all, almost every step of this examination and uh, finally I got through. So, so what made you choose philosophy as your optional subject? Okay, uh, so um, there were certain criteria. Uh, firstly, a very close senior of mine had philosophy optional. So he was somebody who could guide me through the subject. There was immediate guidance that was available. Then second, I had little inclination towards philosophy as it was one of my electives in uh, college. So I was little acquainted with it. I saw the syllabus and I found it quite interesting. Then uh, I got uh, in, uh, into contact with Mahesh sir from Enlight and he made my journey very simple and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed reading philosophy. So that's how like I had little aptitude for it, I guess, and that's how I, I mean, it culminated into a good result also. So based on your UPSC experience, uh, what is the demand of philosophy as an optional subject? It's who all can take it and what is the nature of philosophy as an optional subject? Um, see, I would recommend that uh, before taking philosophy as an optional, it's important that you go through the syllabus and just do basic reading. and find out if the content that you're reading interests you or not uh, learning it and uh, appearing in the exam is a like is a different deal but first you have to feel little comfortable with the content and uh, there are various youtube videos also like i remember going through a philosophy crash course by john green like it's a fun video but if you go through it, you will understand like what philosophers are talking about what are the topics you have to uh, like you'll be reading so if that interests you that will be a good uh, philosophy will be a good optional then philosophy also helps in uh, ethics and it also helps in essay especially the kind of essays that have been coming uh, in last two years there's always one philosophical essay so there also philosophy can contribute so i think that should be the approach and uh, regarding paper wise i think uh, paper one is very content intensive paper so it's not that you'll get it in one go. The subject has to be done in iterations. Like in first iteration, a basic understanding that you have to develop. Then in second iteration, you have to understand the content of it, try and memorize the content, the evolution of it, uh, particularly Western and Indian philosophy. And uh, after that, make small notes for yourself so that you can uh, revise it in very short amount of time. And the previous year questions are the most important cue that will tell you what's very important, what is not that important. That also needs to be kept in mind. Uh, this is for paper one, but uh, paper two is a bit different. That is not only content. It's It demands more practice in answer writing. So that is where the student should uh, invest more time. 
in practicing the answers for uh, socio political and philosophy of religion so my approach was like that i i tried and prepare uh, the first paper thoroughly before prelims and most of the answer writing part i did between prelims and mains okay so what were the specific things that you did for uh, learning as well as writing answers for philosophy uh for philosophy paper 1 in uh, indian philosophy specifically i found that there were lot of comparison kind of questions that were coming so uh, i created tables like advait vedanta dwait dwaitvad ramanujacharya madhvacharya what were their different views of world god soul uh, world uh, world relation god soul relations all that i made a chart of it so that i could remember and i could produce content very easily if such kind of question would come then uh, and similarly i had created a uh, flow charts for uh, buddhism for example the so the basic tenet of it and how various other philosophy like pratitya samutpad then how shanikvad comes from it how nairatmavad how anatmavad comes from it small tables for all kinds of philosophy so that it's like it's handy for me to revise also and the content is like very uh, like i remember all the keywords also while writing the answers then uh, contemporary philosophy is one area i think uh, most students struggle with that's an area it's not something that you can like you could do rote learning and produce content because it's a uh, very understanding based and for that it's important that you first understand the the evolution of it like how uh, logical positivism is coming how what is russell saying what is wittgenstein saying how the picture theory is being refuted by use theory that understanding is needed once that logical understanding is done then you will actually have to learn it and uh, learning is only possible when you write multiple answers you will know what content you have what content you don't have and you can then implement it better so that was my strategy for paper 1 for paper 2 uh my strategy was to look at the previous year questions and find out what were the most repeated themes and ga- gather certain content for it so i referred to book uh, op guaba socio political philosophy and uh, from there i collected definitions i collected various points of views and i collected uh, certain examples and that was all and then i only practiced writing using that content what different kinds of answers i could write and this was basically mahesh sir had taught us to format more and more answers so paper 2 was basically formatting answers what content was like i took 20 days to ready my content and after that i only formatted answers for paper 2 okay so that was my strategy so you have mentioned that uh, in gs papers that is essay and ethics philosophy help you yes yes so let me ask you uh, has philosophy help you in your life in general <laughs> has it influenced you when you read something and uh, spend lot of time with it definitely it has certain impact on you as a person also and especially when you're stuck in this preparation for a really long time then philosophy like existentialism would like completely you would so relate with it so much that uh, what is my existence why am i existing what am i doing so a lot of such questions you know most aspirants have and philosophy tries to answer that so it's very interesting also in that case then there are other things also i like i can't consciously say that this kind of change has come in me because i read philosophy but i know that subconsciously a lot of things might have so it's it's just helped me to um in a way not bother about result a lot not be quite anxious about the result and like nishkam karma no so do your job more like more immersed in the process than in the result although like you can't completely dissociate from the result but i think i was able to do in this attempt i was able to do that much better than i used to do in previous attempts okay so uh, about your interview experience uh, can you share something uh my interview was quite cordial and uh, i uh, i was working in i'm presently also working in state services as a assistant commissioner commercial taxes so it was mostly around uh, this my job and philosophy optional and very interesting questions were also asked like i remember the last member asking me that uh, now that we are moving towards artificial intelligence 
and uh, we do not need human intelligence so philosophy is completely irrelevant so your optional is irrelevant how would you defend it so it was a very interesting question we had a very good conversation around that okay. overall uh, the interview was very cordial everybody was listening to what i had to say there was no grilling or anything so it was a good experience okay. so finally uh, what was your experience how was it with mahesar and invite is so um i can say that i think i didn't like the difference in this attempt and my previous attempts was mahesh sir i um, from it was not just philosophy that uh, he helped me with with ethics also he helped me he helped me with gs also and uh, sir was so like he was so uh, involved in everything he was always available for any kind of guidance if, after every exam sir used to uh, tell what to do for the next how to approach the next paper and um, all kind of support that was needed he was there for it, for me so he made this like optional was something that was my achilles heel and he healed it like he's he he made it so simple and i think it's not just me it's most people who come to enlight have this experience of having a very personal uh, involvement that sir shows uh, with every student and that was the case with me also and uh, like i like i can't thank enough <laughs> enlight is because i had struggled a lot before that but just one year of association and i got through so <laughs> i am really like happy and grateful to enlight for that So this has been a long struggle, right? So mm-hmm. for most UPSC aspirants, it's like that also. So perseverance is very important in this yeah. journey. And what all made you motivated throughout this process? Um, see, if you seek motivation outside, then it will not be permanent, right? Something or the other, because in your life will keep changing, and it will make you like. it will keep you demotivated so it's better to be disciplined then the you know your motivation will be more intrinsic and every time you fail you have to sit back and think that is this something that you really want to do question yourself then and there if you get the answer yes this is something that you really want to do then don't question yourself again and again go and do the best you can and that's it and even failure if you look at it in terms of dejection then it will make you demotivated but if you look at it as a step towards success then you won't feel uh, dejected out of it you'll try and find out the reason for that failure and once you find the reason you work upon it that's how you succeed so it's like that so if you look at it positively i think you won't feel demotivated and uh, of course you need little breaks also stay close to people who support you your family your friends and uh, don't question yourself a lot don't get into the cycle of doubt a lot be like be satisfied with who you are just try and be better and find out the reason for why you've not succeeded because there are many people who succeed so they can also help you like what i did for my mains answer writing especially for gs i downloaded the copies of the top- toppers and i wrote the same answers the toppers had written so that gave me a lot of insight into what i was not doing correctly and what other people were doing correctly so i had to uh, imbibe those things into my answer writing so that helps so that is how you have to proceed that is how i proceeded of course there were days is where i was also low and uh, i needed help so i took help from my parents and my friends that's how it went on okay ankita thank you so much it was great meeting you <laughs> thank you so all the very best for your thank future you. journey thank, thank you thank you